Here's a ridiculous Larry Bird trash talking story. He wants every advantage, whether it be a technical advantage, a physical advantage, but more importantly, a psychological advantage. I get a charge when I tell someone on the opponent's team that I'm going to hit the last second shot and then do it. That's what it's all about. You know how great a player is based on what their peers say about them, their former teammates and their competitors. Players like Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, and of course the great Larry Bird are NBA legends, but it's not always because of the brilliance they displayed on the court, it's because of the stories and the debates that NBA fans still have decades after they retire. Not only have Larry Bird's teammates come out and praised him for what he did during his career, but players from other teams still continue to marvel at what he used to do on the court with countless stories. Larry Bird. Larry Bird. Larry Bird. He was ridiculous. One of the greatest players to ever touch a basketball. He's the best I ever played with, against, or anything I've ever seen. Ruined a lot of my uh, successful games against the Boston Celtics. He talked a lot of trash. Bird was a bad somebody. In other words, when the best of the best continue to talk and marvel about what you did on the court, it just shows how great Bird was compared to everybody else in the league. And there are so many stories about the trash-talking, hard-working legend that is Larry Bird. But these stories in this video sum up Larry Bird completely. Both stories include Larry Bird's famous line, I told you so. And you guys seem to love these types of videos, where I include interviews and clips and piece them all up together to make a story. One story so you can follow and you get a clear understanding of what was happening during that time. In this video, we combined ESPN's 30 for 30 on the Celtics and the Lakers and an open court segment recorded in 2018 where Chris Bosh asked Kevin McHale for a Larry Bird story. Can you tell a Larry story? I haven't, I haven't heard much of him, you know, any stories about him talking trash and he's so quiet. Then later on in the video, we look at another story which includes Larry Bird trash talking Xavier McDaniel on the Dan Patrick Show and also a documentary on Larry Bird. We combine all these interviews up together and the story all flows together. You guys seem to love these videos, so I'd appreciate if you guys could leave a like on this video to show your support. It literally takes two seconds of your time and it would really help my channel out. If you're new around here and enjoy these types of videos, feel free to subscribe. And lastly, I have plenty more videos just like this one on the channel for you to sit back, relax and enjoy. I hope you're all staying safe and let's get it started. Feels like every time we have somebody on who played against Bird, we always ask for their favorite trash talk story. Anybody better than Larry Bird? No, Larry's probably the best trash talker. And he, you know the best thing about Larry now? He's so buttoned down now. He's just like, you know, I didn't do that. Like, that guy lies. He, he was the best trash talker. <laughs> can, can and tell, he denies can you, everything. Can you can tell he, a Larry story? I haven't, I haven't heard much of him, you know, any stories about him talking trash. And he's so quiet. Yeah, it's just every other time. And I never got to play on the court or see. Do you have a favorite bird trash talk story? But can you tell a story like oh, well, some you I'd say one of my There's a million of them, but one of my favorite ones is we're playing Phoenix and we're way ahead, okay? The Celtics were playing the Suns and... and we're, we're down in the old saddle dome that they had outside. Right, right. And Larry, you know, we're playing good as a team. Larry has the worst fourth quarter known to man. I mean, he's throwing the ball to the other team. I'm like, good Lord, we had like a 15-point lead. Next thing you know, we're down two. And I'm like, oh, how in the world are we going to lose this game? Man? So... We have a play out of bounds play. I'm taking it out, and um, Larry says, I'm going to bust off the play, and I'm just going to come out, and I'm going to shoot a three, and I'm like. And Larry says, I'm going to bust the play. I'm going to shoot a three. And I'm like, <laughs> Birdie, it's just getting to overtime. I'll go with Robert. <laughs> you know, Robert, we need to get into overtime, man. Right. Try to get this ship right, because we're sinking, man. Right. I right. Celtics are down by two points, and Bird is out by the three-point line, and he's being guarded by a guy named Johnny Hyde. And Johnny High is sort of backing away from Bird, and Bird says, "Hey Johnny, you better come up and, and, and guard me a little closer. I'm just gonna get the ball and shoot a three, and game's over." And Larry says, "I'm gonna bust the play. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot a three. So you know, Larry not only tells me that he walked by the bench and says, "You know, typical Bird. He's just real slow." So he tells us, tells the Phoenix bench, um, <laughs> tells the coaches, "Yeah, I'm just fixing to bust a three on you guys and just go home. I'm tired of this." <laughs> Fixing to bust a three on your guys and go home. And, you know, Johnny High sort of, sort of smiles and laughs about it. <laughs> and so he breaks the play. And then the ball comes in to Bird. He just turns around and shoots a perfect three. Shoots the ball, 
as the ball's in the air, he kind of turns towards the Phoenix bench and yells, told you so, <laughs> off running to the locker room. Larry hits it, he looks at the bench and goes, told you so. Unreal, man. Oh. As he's walking off, he puts an arm on Johnny High's shoulder and he goes, Johnny, I told you to come out and guard me. That was Birdie. I just he had the confidence, man. That dude had so much confidence. He talked to the coaches. He talked. He talked to everybody. He was talking trash all the time, man. But fun, great competitor, man. And I, I, just, <laughs> I just started laughing. I was like, oh man, uh, you know, it, I, 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 it's just one of those ones where he just kind of he has such <laughs> supreme confidence, and it was just. But I, I, uh, that's the one when you when you were back in, and Larry went in and said, well. I won the game in the first three quarters, and I lost it in the third quarter, and the fourth quarter, excuse me. Then I won it at the end. He goes, my record tonight is 2-1. and one. <laughs> We all just kind of laughed about it. Larry Legend is simply remarkable. The fact that he not only told Kevin McHale that he would break up the play and shoot a three in his face, but the fact he also told the Phoenix Suns players and coaches, and then went on to actually do it. It just speaks volumes to how good Larry the Legend was, not to mention he also dropped 38 points and hit the game winner in that game. Larry was always one step ahead of the rest. He knew this and the NBA knew this, but it wasn't because he just was great, it was because he really worked hard to be the greatest at the time. It was Magic Johnson or Larry Bird. Larry Bird wasn't anything special either. He wasn't athletically gifted, he wasn't quick, he wasn't fast, he just put the work in. He was the guy that wanted to take the game winning shot and he practiced and practiced and practiced that. And that's what he eventually became. One of the clutchest players in NBA history, one of the best players in NBA history, and one of the best trash talkers in NBA history because he could back up whatever he said on the court. In an interview, he stated why he wanted to take the last shot and what separates the best from regular NBA players. A lot of players in this league that can score uh, the first three quarters of the game, but you get down to the fourth quarter when you need a basket, you can separate the men from the boys. It's been like that, and it's always going to be like that. You're always going to have the guys that come up with the attitude that they can make the last shot or make the big play. I don't know what makes a, a player do that, just their competitive nature and, and their will to win. And um, if it comes down to one shot, I want to be the guy to take it. And since we're on the topic of Kevin McHale and Larry Bird's stories, here's one more, including a game winner in Xavier McDaniel's face. And saying the exact same thing, I told you so. It was a tie game. They had the ball and DJ was stalling the basketball. And um, Larry was kind of standing. I was probably behind him, like denying him the ball. And uh, they called a timeout. And he turned around and looked at me and said, I'm going to score right here on you. And uh, I said, I know you will. I'll be ready. Tie game, 13 seconds to play, Celtics basketball. During the timeout, I'm going through a play, and about that time, Larry steps in and says, uh, Coach, uh, why don't you just give me the ball and tell everybody to get out of the way? That's Larry. If he wants the ball, he wants the ball. After the timeout, we walked back on the court, and then Xavier was guarding him. So he tells Xavier, he says, I'm getting the ball. X, I'm going to get the ball right here, and I'm going to take a jumper right in the face. I'm going to make it. And I said, I know I'm going to be waiting. And he said, I'm going to get it right here. I'm going to shoot it right in your face. And then he gets the ball, takes the shot right in front of Xavier McDaniel and makes the shot. Ten seconds. Five and Bird has the basketball. Look out. Larry Bird just phenomenal the way that he... And he came out when we to about that ex exact spot and shot a shot right in my face. I just looked back and the ball just went in. Hit all net. And uh, he said, uh, I told you so. And, you know, he was like, I didn't mean to leave two seconds on the clock. He wanted to shoot it with zero seconds on the clock. I walked back to the sideline like, dang. You know, and, and X tells the story. He's like, he, he did exactly what he was telling me he was going to do. There are so many stories of people saying that Larry Bird told me he was going to do this, and then he actually did it. This was just one of them, but I can make many more if you haven't seen them. Let me know if you've heard of these stories before. I doubt that many of you have heard the Phoenix Sun stories because you actually can't get any of that game on YouTube. So unless you go through documentaries and interviews, it's actually hard to find footage of what happened during that time. So I doubt many of you would have heard the first story. The second story of Xavier McDaniels is more well known, but still it's an amazing story with the same line, I told you so.
And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did and you enjoy these types of stories, I have plenty more on the channel. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and go on the channel to see if you enjoy any more like this. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could drop a like. It takes two seconds of your time. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. I am out. Peace.